Welcome to FL Studio. This series of videos are here to help you get the hang of it and start making music in no time. You can watch them as a series or dive in where your curiosity takes you. But first, let's show you around. So when you open FL Studio, you will see this welcome window. To the left, you can open demo projects to see how a full song is made. Or to the right, you can browse through different templates to use when creating a project. Let's use the default template by clicking down here. So here we are in an empty project. Let's go through the essentials. This is the project tempo set in BPM. This stands for beats per minute and sets the speed of your song. The metronome here just to the right can help us hear the tempo. Click and drag up to increase the tempo. And drag it down to decrease. The grid here is called the playlist and this is where you build songs. Right now it's an empty canvas, but once you start placing things down, it can look something like this. The song starts from the left, and it continues to the right for as long as you have things placed down. The black bar here at the top is called a timeline. We can click on it to move around the playhead. And of course you can press space to play, and space again to pause. To the left we have the browser. This is where you can locate sounds to drag into your song. You also have the project tab where you can find things connected to your current project. The plugins tab, this is one of several ways to add instruments to your song. And we have the sounds tab where we access FL Cloud. This is a big library of royalty-free samples and sounds. If you can't see the browser, you can open it with the browser icon, this one. You can also resize the browser by dragging on the edge of it. This goes for most windows in FL Studio. Now above the playlist, we have lots of different buttons and icons. But for now, let's focus on these four. This one opens the piano roll, which is where we draw melodies. This icon opens the channel rack, this is like a container for all the different parts of your song. Like drums. Or a melody. The fourth icon here is going to open the mixer. This is where we can add effect plugins to our sounds, like delay, 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 delay or reverb. The last icon brings us to the playlist, which is back where we started. You know, the place where we build songs. Up here in the left corner, you can also find some nice essentials. For now, let's focus on the Files tab. This is where you save your project. And the Export tab here lets you export your project out to several different file formats. It can also be good to know about the Options tab. Clicking any of the top ones here will bring up an Options box. Here for example you can go to Audio to set up your audio settings. MIDI can help you set up your MIDI controllers, like a MIDI keyboard if you got one. And a whole bunch of other stuff, like the theme setting where you can customize the colors of your FL Studio. Maybe dark, purple, light mode. Now all of this might seem like a lot of controls, but there's no need to be overwhelmed. There's no need to learn every single mechanic to start making music. And we will cover everything you need to know more in detail in coming videos, alright? See you next time!